Hello everybody, welcome back. This is D with Nearfall Gaming. We are here for another episode of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Series in 24-7 mode. We are going to get right into it. We're going to recap last week's episode of SmackDown on May 10th before getting uh, just jumping into May 17th's episode. So, you can see here, Gregory Helms and Kenny Dykstra lose to William Regal and Sabu in tag team competition. This match just sends, and this loss, just sends Kenny Dykstra off the rails. He attacks Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms was serving as like a mentor role to Kenny. Kenny is just, he can't stand the way that Gregory Helms is conducting business these days. So Kenny Dykstra attacks Gregory Helms. He's tired of losing, and he goes on his own. Match number two, Chris Masters beats Jeff Hardy in a hardcore match. This match was a rematch from the week prior for the United States qualifier match for Judgment Day. Chris Masters did his swindling with the general manager, but ultimately Jeff Hardy said, if you face me in a hardcore match and beat me, then I will allow you to take that spot in the Judgment Day match. Chris Masters took that and he just beat the shit out of Jeff Hardy with a chair. Jeff Hardy doesn't seem to be himself lately and he takes he takes another loss uh, in a hardcore match which is his second in a row. Then in a triple threat match, this match was supposed to be for the Cruiserweight title and it probably would have had a different outcome if it was for the Cruiserweight title. Elijah Burke, the Cruiserweight champion, coming out on top against Chavo and Johnny Nitro. And then match number four, King Booker versus Rey Mysterio for the United States qualifier. King Booker taking another loss to Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio on a roll and punched his ticket into Judgment Day. But for our main event, Kane, Mr. Kennedy, the World Heavyweight Championship Contender Tournament Final. <sighs> Kane defeats Mr. Kennedy, uh, even despite Snitsky being there, largely in part because Bobby Lashley comes in and interferes and basically takes Snitsky, makes him a non-factor in the match, and Mr. Kennedy has to take Kane on all on his own. Therefore, Kane hits Mr. Kennedy with a choke slam after Kennedy was screaming for Snitsky to come back. Snitsky doesn't come back. Kennedy turns around into a choke slam, choke slam and Kane picks up the victory. So that's how it went last week. That's how it went down. We're going to see how it goes down tonight for our go home show before the Judgment Day pay per view. So, match number one. As you can see, uh, it's not. It's, it says parking lot brawl because that's that's what it is. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, advertise it as such. And um, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna advertise the parking lot brawls like this in the future. But I already spoke the words, so we're just going to uh, roll with it. Match number two, another hardcore match involving Jeff Hardy, this time against Sabu. This was by request by Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy knows Sabu is an extreme icon in his own way, in his own right. He's homicidal, he's genocidal, and he's other words that might actually get me banned if I continue to say on YouTube. But nonetheless, these two are going to go off in a hardcore match, see who uh, can come out on top. Jeff Hardy is really just trying to get his mind right, correct himself, uh, whatever that may mean. I'm not sure what it means, but Jeff Hardy is certainly a different one than most. But anyway, it should make for a good match. Match number three is going to be King Booker versus William Regal, but it was originally supposed to be Kenny Dykstra versus William Regal, but because of the parking lot brawl that we have early on in the night, uh, Kenny Dykstra is not cleared to compete. King Booker swindles his way into this match, and he gets his spot back and uh, is able to qualify for that United States Championship match. Then, after that, we've got a six-man tag team match. Our first six-man tag team match. Sag team match. Uh, there we go. That makes sense, right? Six-man tag team matchup of the series. Kane, Elijah Burke, the Cruiserweight Champion, and Marcus Corvon taking on Johnny Nitro, MVP, and Edge, the World Heavyweight Champion. Um, Kane and Edge obviously facing off one against, against one another at Judgment Day on Sunday. That'll be a big one. Uh, and then Marcus Corvon and Elijah Burke and Johnny Nitro and MVP 
have actually been announced earlier in the match that they will be facing off uh, two on two, not one on one, in a tag team match to determine our first tag team champion. So it'll be Corvon and Burke against Nitro and MVP for the tag team titles at Judgment Day. And now, in our main event, Snitsky, Lashley, Steel Cage, no Kennedy in sight, and we are going to see uh, just what goes down. So, anyway, that's our match card. We're already confirmed. We're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Gregory Helms and Kenny Dykstra. This is our first, and we're going to go ahead and play it. And I forgot to turn the HUD off again. <laughs> or turn it back on, rather, excuse me. I like how there's just chairs uh, in the background, or in the parking lot. That makes a lot of sense. Man, I haven't done a back a parking lot brawl in years. This is something else. I gotta say, I do like the way that 2K kind of uh, took their take on it and made it so you can go to different parts of the arena and different parts of backstage. There we go. This is, how they, this is how it starts. Yes, I like this graphic. Let's get this visual going. Gregory Holmes is like, you little bitch, you want to disrespect me? I don't know him. I've been the hurricane. You don't know what I've been. You haven't done half of what I've done. Come on, man. I'm going to wait for you to stand up because I'm getting a little tired. However, me being a cruiserweight, I should have stupendous stamina, but that does not seem to be the case. Is actually a pain in the ass to play a little bit because he reverses so many things. Superstar, let's go. Give him a little. Oh, that was a Whoop. Ooh, swinging networker on to the concrete. That is pain. And we are just going until somebody gets knocked out, right? See, like, realistically, um, the segment would end with that kind of graphic. <clears throat> it, 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 that wouldn't be, like, a footnote of what happens. That would probably be, like, a pretty big, pretty big aspect of the whole exchange. But... And I don't know if I have a finisher. Check. I did have a finisher, but he reversed it. Can I pick up the tire? I can pick up the tire. Hit him with the fucking tire. Hit him with the tire, Gregory. Oh my god, that would have de decapitated him. Decapitated him. I don't even know. All I know is that Kenny Dykstra's getting the business right now. Let's go. Make him bleed. Let's go. Make him bleed by punching him in the cheek. Make him bleed it on his forehead. Oh. Big. I want to put him in the trash can. they call the garbage truck from where, you, where you're from? Hmm? Leave it in the comments. Yeah, whether I can I can't fucking damn it. There we go. It's gotta smell horrible. Horrible. And that killed him. There we go. That's, <laughs> yeah, that kills him. 
uh, Kenny Dykstra. We're not going to see these two face off at Judgment Day because Kenny Dykstra is actually dead and um, suffered from severe spinal cord damage. But uh, Gregory Helms won't be there because now he um, is actually... It, he got arrested <laughs> because he killed someone when he wasn't supposed to. Uh, but Gregory Helms uh, whoops Kenny Dykstra's ass and we like that. Uh, so that's match number one. Match number two is that hardcore match. Jeff Hardy versus Sabu. So we're going to go ahead and simulate this outcome. Jeff Hardy picks up that W against Sabu. Kind of writes the shit. Gets things okay with his brain. It was more just an exhibition than anything, but um, that's that's the way it goes. Uh, picks up a win. King Booker versus William Regal, and we will go ahead and play that match. We got the King Booker uh, coming down to the ring with fall. his leisurely stroll down the ramp. On the way to the ring, from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 256 royal pounds, King and his Booker. royal skin. Nothing personal, it's just for the sake of time. We got a six-man tag match coming up tonight. We're going to play that. And we're not sure how it's going to go as far as tonight. So we're going to try and to make sure we can serve it as much as from possible. From Blackpool, England, weighing but 245 pounds, go. William This is our boy Regal. Willie Reeks coming down to the ramp. Are these two a faction? Are they working together? William Regal's got a chance to go compete for the United States title. We'll see. Alright, let's see. Nope. Okay. Nope, he didn't. He didn't. Uh-uh. They're enemies. It's going down. King Booker did not appreciate that. He's I think gonna, these fans he's gonna, have he's just about enough of the King but Booker. Then That's because like, these fans have no oh, respect for his accomplishments. Bitch. Don't forget, he's a five-time WCW champion. WCW was a long That's time ago, four, partner, and quite frankly, Booker's attitude was a lot better in those days. Yeah, well, his uh, attitude won that, him please. the World Heavyweight Championship here on SmackDown, and that's something all the cheering fans in the world couldn't do for him. I think William Regal wants to finish this up quick. It's almost tea time after all. Regal's a very methodical wrestler. He won't be rushed, and I don't see him as a tea and crumpets kind of guy. He's got this crowd solidly behind him, and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. All right, big slap to the back to a man that's Equal your he size. anticipated that move perfectly. Okay, I like the little spear with the punch combo. Let's go. The oh, superstar, he's that, going so for the I'm cover. Right. That's, right. That's right. And there's the reversal. He saw that one coming. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars did it everything they got. Nope. Man, Riggs. this one's turned into a... the adrenaline is pumping. The crowd oh, is coming please. alive. Please this is what the they came star. to see. Hey, try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. Okay, book. Okay, Even book. if you wind up winning a match like you, this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case that's if you right. lose that's as well. Right. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain what the fuck is, is that much the, worse. What is hey, this? it's pretty insightful what for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. 
Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars there. who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. That move works well. To say the least. That move does You know, I not. like Booker a lot better before he discovered his royal heritage. Yeah, but it wasn't until he stopped caring about the fans that he finally we, won the World Heavyweight we, Championship. We, we, What's the point of being champion if you lose the respect what? of the WWE oh, man, fans? Man. Oh, wait, I think I'm asking the wrong person. Wow, listen to that chant. The crowd makes a huge difference whether they're oh, for wow, you or against you. Look at that. that. You can still call that chain. Seeing Look at us like go. This we're just putting on a clinic right now. Of this and then he I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience what a is thrill the like this Boston anywhere else. And, and that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars Especially, anywhere. And man, this crowd is really before. swelling this guy's head. Hate There's no doubt that these fans love him. And he's feeding off that energy right now. When they had a finisher active and they. Ultimately, opt to you will take the Boston Regal. Crab rather he than to backs you know, down from a fight. Yeah, at least save the finisher. With his maybe not even a use the finisher, but they don't, you don't even stick save with it, something that long yeah. unless you're Fuck. awfully good at it. And yet, you show up week after week to do commentary. Damn, son. Night after night. Look at that, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong Let's with see, keeping the pain. Record. This Let's could be big, but it could backfire. I don't know if that's a, you know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled oh. this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Never do a grapple water on the ground. Just don't even try. Come on, I quit like show it off. Just this is a wrestling match, crap. not a popularity contest. Yeah, We've seen this match match before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. A computer opponent. That every time. Every time. My spear, my spear book. Yeah, I love good. Booker's attitude. He doesn't care what the fans go. think. He's focused nice, on winning. Nice there that's on the it. Well, he might oh, want to acknowledge the paying no customers who make it possible for him to earn a paycheck. Why bother? If they don't buy a ticket to wow. cheer him on, they'll buy one to watch him get beat. Gary Kubiak, I swear Each of these here it is. He's building up a head of steam and he's about to let his opponent Super have Super and if his oh, opponent uh, is strong, he'll Super get the later, hell buddy. out of there. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Hit him with Oh my goodness, William Regal, you are the man. I've been looking Stop forward it. to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most now anticipated matchups in recent weeks. You, and usually when you got that kind of hype, it's tough like to live up to expectation, but these superstars a, aren't having any trouble doing grapple. that. <laughs> they sure aren't. And that's an impressive <laughs> thing good, in and of itself. There we go. We got him on the road. I like that. Can I hit Talk about again? superstar. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like oh, this. Wow. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity oh, really crowd. The These fans know what there he's got playing. Go. They sure go. do. It. There go. it is. The book in. Put him in judgment. How do I move? You should really keep move. your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd. Put me in judgment. The Put on. the king at judgment day. There we go. And King Booker picks up Man, the W. What a match, kids. Um, you know, doesn't necessarily wrestle heelish. I mean, both of these guys have naturally dirty styles. So they will use those naturally dirty styles. You know, the forearms across the face. Um, you know, rubbing your face into the rope kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, his his true craft Here's of his heel winner, work comes in the way that he King manipulates Booker. management. Uh, that King Booker. Um, so that you know, that's where you got to appreciate his his heelness because he's not a heel He's got the talent where he doesn't have to be a heel um, If he decided to be a, a king of the people um, Then he could be a king of the people, but he decides not to to be that so We're just gonna go ahead and play it or play this next match. It should be a good one I'll tell you right now. We're gonna skip the uh We're going to skip the entrances, just about all of them. But we're going to play as the heels in this scenario. I think Corvon and Burke, I'm almost certain he, Corvon and Burke are 
technically dirty superstars in this game and I haven't set them over to queen but in this in this angle in this storyline they are uh, getting cheered as though they are faces and Pavan really his character in this series is more of a face the following well. six man tag so team the match is game scheduled game for one fall um, generic tag team on the way to the ring we, yep that's pretty nice but they were a pretty short tag team Burke. in the game so and at least they come out together because I was really actually unsure if they were From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 248 pounds, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. Sorry, I, I missed the mark with Kane's pyro. <laughs> I'm gonna get it right someday. Um, but now this is the perfect opportunity for me to complain about Edge not having this world heavyweight title. From Toronto. I'm actually going to skip that before we get slapped with uh, copyright, um, get hit with a copyright hook. Copyright hook, you see what I did there. Um, anyway, uh, we've got both of our champions in this match, but you wouldn't know that because the game does not allow their championships, championship title belts to display unless it is a championship match, in which this is not. So, yeah. We got Nitro. Go ahead, get the HUD on. Um. Edge is so quick and so deadly, you can't Yeah, so as the general manager announced second. earlier in the night, and that's doubly Nitro true to the referee. and MVP I don't think Edge has ever met a rule he wouldn't break. Corvon no shame in the... Did they get the, the tag? Yes! United, or not in the United States. Uh, tag team championship match. And we're going to crown a tag team champion. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this uh, ring first, tonight. Well, you know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's States what champion. I'm seeing here. Um, I disagree. Of these he's wrestled this match his way all along, However, and now we see Kane it paying off. Edge will be facing one another for the World Heavyweight Championship. So Judgment Day's got like a jerk when three someone counters you like that. Title matches that was a smart six. tag. And I don't think we're adding any more. I don't think he the dodged that bullet. Yet. I mean, it's definitely not going to be. Watch it. He reversed Corbin it. Isn't losing his, or Elijah Burke isn't losing the Cruiserweight title before Judgment Day. In Talk days. about adding insult and, to injury. Uh, no and these TV. fans love it. Because yeah, he's but in you the gotta worry match, more so about the injury it. and less about uh, the insult I really to the match is over. And you just can't put day, anything over on these fans. Really you sure can. They see everything and they'll let you know about it. Anyway, so. Nice. Triple team right there. I like that. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Oh my god, it's a ground simple. grapple. We Holy knew it was going to be intense. Okay, we knew it was going to be physical. But MVP, I don't think anyone was prepared for this. Right. I gotta admit, it took me by surprise that that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. Yeah. You've been in hundreds of matches yeah. in your career. We both you called go. hundreds one. more. We uh, usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, so but hurt. not... I think that's a tag. First uh, title to change hands. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or what later. Think, well, there were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you Never how mind, he can call it all he wants, but once he's lost Mark's the match, he's going to wish he spent this time no, going that. after his opponent. Yeah, I think I you're wrong about that. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter.
I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and oh, you can't afford Gary to Kubiak. either. I'd love that's to know where you're coming up with this game. stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. Oh, they're, okay, so they copied the same exact move that we did. Right. Imitation is the most sincere form of WWE. fighter, but... 102. And it would have been 100. I think Edge we're about in. to see a high-risk move from the top He's, rope. He says, yeah, let me in there, bitch. Oh, Elijah Burke. I remember that being a thing now. Watching okay. these superstars go at it reminds me. You got to be careful when you're yeah. going up there. Yeah, okay, I remember. Okay, I'm just trying to send out signals to my boys. Back to the back gate. I know that Johnny oh, Nitro is an incredibly talented oh, superstar. Wow. But it's almost impossible for me to get past no, that arrogant He's attitude of his. That's an incredibly back. unprofessional attitude. Nitro's got all the potential in the God. world, and you have to... He's got this crowd solidly behind oh, him. Damn. And now Dude. he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. You don't normally see guys as big and strong as Marcus Gervon move as quickly as he does. And that speed, combined with his overpowering strength, has yeah, led him down for okay. many a Elijah superstar. Burke is just, he's a gritty, he's a gritty guy. He was one step ahead on that one. Wow, great not giving me that reversal. Quick MVP. tags are the best way to win a match like this. Okay, back to Portland. Come on, let's okay, show it off. Fresh. This is a wrestling Man, match, not a popularity like contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Yeah, fuck him up, guys. Fuck him up. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him. I think it had more respect. That no tag shows some impressive teamwork. In the banking of this. this could be big, but it could backfire. Oh, he's doing his little taunt. That's going to give him a forward. Nice. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able yeah. to just sit back and enjoy the, the ride. Right and what a wild just ride it's been so far with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Going for the submission, man. Uh, that ain't gonna see me. I don't that think there's anything Ed MVP. wouldn't do to get what he wants, and that's what I like about it. That's funny. Because that's exactly what I can't stand about Edge. He might be a great competitor, but he's a lousy human. There's the tag. Edge in there, do some damage. Ooh, These superstars have been given it every. He wasted no time going for that pin. Okay. I'm just gonna say, you know what, ref? I don't think our fans are too crazy about Elijah Burke. What's not the lie? The guy is pure that's gold. My, that's my edge impression. And he can um, back it up in the ring. I think they've simply on a scale had enough of one to ten, their favorite uh, superstars through highest, underhanded means. <laughs> Damn, edges. That was a textbook reversal. I like how he uses his fighting style after I am kicked out of the Look ring. at him. He's just radiating Morris. confidence. And he's got a lot to be gonna, confident okay. about. He's he right looks right. a little he's overconfident right. okay. to me. Touché. This could come back Touché. to bite him. Punch These fans face. have got something Punch they me. want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. And now I, I can reverse it, but I'm still not reversing it. Damn. It's crazy to think. They got the tag. Bruh, I'm tired. Bruh, you tag. You tag in before long. Nice reversal. No use of Kane so far, which is actually kind of good because in kayfabe, uh, Edge is going to avoid Kane. Every time I see Johnny Nitro, um, I'm blown no away. Kane. And uh, he's Kane's still a just a kid. He's got, got his whole career ahead of him. Uh, Don't remind me. I'm afraid we'll have to put uh, up with this obnoxious part, jerk for um, years to come. Believe me. The referee saw the tag. He is, uh, Look at that! That's going to go over big with the, the fans and build some so, momentum at the um, same time. Understand you gotta so watch out for your opponent man, when they're um, getting fired up like this. Part of him. So really, it's just like a, 
It, I don't want to say it's like a handicap match because it's not. Because right. Edge is definitely is doing his thing against. Uh, That's for sure. Elijah Burke you don't see many superstars However, with the ability to physically um, dominate their opponent. Edge Here it is. King he's building up ahead of steam really and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. There's the cover. Can he One, do it? Two. Guys, I won't lie. I need you. I need you guys to win. Seeing a match uh, like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this, this anywhere else. And that's because you're this not going to see not athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere else, show. Cole. You certainly aren't. They're Come the on, greatest man. athletes Who's in the world, Who's and this on, is man. the only place yeah. you'll see them yeah. doing what they do best. What you get? I got Gary Kubiak watching my back, so I'm gonna kick the fuck out of all you guys. What's up? Oh. I've been looking forward to this. Oh match damn, that's that There's got me last pin. time. Kill him with the one, with the two, and uh, okay. I actually really need Kane to win. Um, We've heard MVP talk to talk. Yeah, so I'm just waiting like for him to back walk back. the walk. Sick. Uh, hey, have some respect. That's SmackDown's most valuable player you're talking about. Well, he certainly played Raw and SmackDown again. Oh, Man, right. this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding oh, off that right. energy right now. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. I hey, no try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're <laughs> supposed to be calling this no down clue. the middle. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me. I know. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. There's the cover. One, two, three. Okay, so, kayfabe. Um, that's, I that wasn't think the anyone in this that match got the victory. Even However, it was a choke slam by Kane that got them the victory. Kane getting himself a little bit of, uh, of revenge for Nitro and MVP costing him a loss, or costing him a victory, and ultimately fucking up my standings, uh, because Kane should be top five, and I need him to be top five, and this was the last show to make him top five, and in hindsight, I probably should have, like, put him in a manager role of some other matches where I knew he would win. But, uh, you try not to, um, have to deviate too much, um, or just, like, put up straight bullshit. Anyway, match one, match two, I'm getting distracted here. We've got our main event, Snitsky, Bobby Lashley, Steel Cage match. We're going to simulate. Bobby Lashley beats Snitsky. Um, that is the predictable outcome and the outcome that happens in kayfabe. Uh, Mr. Kennedy's nowhere in sight. And uh, I just realized that the promos I sent, um, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Because now we are in Judgment Day week. We've got no weekly shenanigans to speak of. We've just got a Judgment Day pay-per-view to book. So let's go ahead and simulate up to Judgment Day. Let's check out our uh, match card. We've got a five match card. And that works for me because that's what I am prepared for. So before we get into booking that, um, we are going to check out uh, we do have a few shenan shenanigans, I suppose. We're going to check out the rosters, uh, check, uh, amongst other things. Um, so, popularity check. Edge sitting up top at 86, King 84, Mysterio 84. Oh, fuck. I just realized I don't think the Power 5, the Power 15 is going to update in time for King to even make the top 5 if that match gets into the top 5. So, we're going to have to improvise. Uh, but anyway. Um, Rey Mysterio 84, Bobby Lashley 83, Mr. Kennedy 83, Elijah Burke 80. Wow, that Cruiserweight Championship really did wonders for him. Kenny Dykstra 76, King Booker 75, Marcus Corvallis 75, Jeff Hardy 71, Matt Hardy 71, Sabu 69, Johnny Nitro 66, Masters and Helms 65, 
Snitsky's at 63, Chavo's at 62, and he's at MVP's at 60, Finley 59, and William Rico 56. So, um, okay, that's not terrible. I'm not mad at it. Uh, we do have some. We we gotta address the lower the lower guys as far as their popularity goes because that makes the bulk of our matches and ultimately the bulk of our ratings. Um, obviously, our main guys are help us are we're gonna help us get some five stars. I feel like our at the top of our mid card is looking pretty solid, but we've got to shore up the lower card for sure. So let's go ahead and get into booking this match card. Judgment Day is finally upon us. Match number one. Oh, actually. Match number one is going to be a first blood match between Kenny Dextra and Gregory Helms. So, we saw these two as tag team partners. Kenny Dextra ultimately was just disbanded himself. From Gregory Helms, he said, "Fuck you, man. Uh, you caused caused me nothing but losses, and I'm sick of it. And uh, I'm gonna do things my way because clearly your way doesn't work, and I don't like it, and I don't want to be a partner anymore. And that's that. <laughs> but uh, Kenny Dykstra um, ultimately got a victory on his own, but Gregory Helms uh, got the last word in last week by attacking him uh, in a parking lot." Match number two is going to be for the WWE Tag Team Championships. We'll just do... We'll do an Elimination Normal Tag Team Match. Johnny Nitro and MVP versus the Cruiserweight Champion Elijah Burke and Marcus Colvin. So, Elijah Burke has the opportunity to become a dual champion here. Marcus Colvin will win. This would be his first championship uh, in his career. We're not going to talk about Nitro and MVP because I think they would have both. Nitro, obviously. MVP, I believe he would have held the United States Championship by this point. In K like in real life, kayfabe slash backstory context, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know how you want to swing that, but either way, we're going to crown some tag team champions. Match number three, we've got, I've been looking forward to this match. Uh, I love the United States Championship and kind of the mid-card championship division, so we're going to just go ahead and get this started. We are going to do a hardcore, we're just doing a hardcore strictly for no reason other than uh, the ratings and that nobody else has, uh, like nobody's bad on fatigue, so they can take it. Um, and we're going to do a hardcore match. Uh, nobody's got the hardcore secondary ability. Not Mr. Matt Hardy. Uh, he does not have that show. But anyway, Rey Mysterio, King Booker, Matt Hardy, Chris Masters. So, uh, King Booker and Chris Masters, it's funny because they actually um, lost their initial qualifying matches uh, only to get a second chance. King Booker lost to Rey Mysterio. Chris Masters uh, lost to Jeff Hardy. Chris Masters basically almost coerced uh, Jeff Hardy to be or to put up his qualifying match. Actually, no, that's a lie because Jeff Hardy uh, extended the offer. He just wanted to be in a hardcore match, and ultimately, um, this is what came of it. Uh, in kayfabe, it's just a normal match, but we're trying to win a little, a few more ratings, so we're making it hardcore. Or else, Jeff Hardy probably would not have given up <laughs> the spot in this match uh, just to have another hardcore title or a hardcore match. Anyway, Fatal 4-Way, uh, first fall to a finish, so we'll see how that goes. Next match is going to be uh, non-title, but it is going to be Bobby Lashley versus Mr. Kennedy, our biggest rivalry that we've had, that we've been brewing up to this point, and we are going to send it out in... We're just going to do a 10-minute Iron Man match. Uh, if anybody sees this now, comment below if you want me to actually record or like show the Iron Man match, like the full 10 minutes of it. I mean, 10 minutes isn't that bad, but if you would prefer to just see like the last few minutes of it, let me know. I can make that happen. But we're going to make it an Iron Man match because that does wonders for the ratings. 10 minutes isn't that bad, and uh, I think we'll be just fine. Now, next, 
for the World Heavyweight Championship, we're going to do Kane versus Edge. Perfect. I was I was so worried that Kane wasn't going to be a contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, but anyway, uh, no man, just a no gimmicks, uh, singles matchup. I don't really want to make it anything else. Um, we can make it hardcore. Yeah, we'll make it hardcore again just for the ratings. Um, but otherwise. Otherwise, we should be good. Okay, I'm liking it. So that's going to be our Judgment Day card. And that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. So let's get back into the habit of pulling up our roster. I like that. Everyone, if you are still watching, thank you so much. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe consider liking the video. Uh, it's all free. It's all appreciated, especially in feedback down below. I love that shit. Anyway, I read it all. Um, what, as little of it <laughs> there is, I will read all of it. Um, but anyway... Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time for Judgment Day, our first pay-per-view of the series.